Hello friends. In today's class, we are going to talk about the process by which we can derive string of terminals by using context-free grammar that is called as derivation. And we'll see graphical representation of it called parse tree. Okay, the next section here is uh, is uh, derivation in parse tree, and uh, it's a very simple concept of derivation in parse tree. That uh, the definition was the process of deriving. Okay, the process of deriving, the process of deriving string of terminals using the production rule is called the derivation. Okay, so okay, uh, so we'll we'll just dig out to this uh, derivation thing first. So now uh, the process, so now this is a, suppose a simple uh, grammar we are having and uh, now I want to derive a string of terminals using this. I have written only production rule. So now suppose uh, I just use the production rule and the beauty of this production rule is it is a recursive one. So I can repeat this production rule A as B and then double A as double B and then one more time let's say triple A as triple b and finally i want to terminate this one so i can get say four occurrences of a and four occurrences of b is now now this is so now there are among this uh, steps if you say that if you want to count the number of steps here so we have a step number one step number two step number three and ultimately step number four in which is consist of a string of terminals so this is the string of terminals fine so this is called derivation this is a this is a we can comment that this is a four steps of derivation okay now the second uh, second definition over here is the parse tree so what is the parse tree the graphical representation of the derivation is called the parse tree so now let me represent this derivation graphically for context-free grammar, uh, for this context-free grammar, and let me just write down the this graphical representation of this derivation. So now S derive A, okay, okay. So S derive A S B, okay, A S B, A capital S and B and finally a B okay now this is the same thing that I represented uh, is stepwise I can represent this graphically this is called part string okay this is your part string okay so now uh, this is uh, this is a part string and uh, and this this one is called the derivation these are very important uh, uh, important part when you uh, understand context free grammar so because ultimate ultimately the context free grammar will be used for deriving sentences uh, for that uh, we need this derivation part so that's all for this uh, thank you